Hello, my name is Rebecca Ankenbrand and I am a graduate student at UNL. Uh, I study French literature and I also teach French, but one of my main passions is chocolate. And I actually make my own chocolate from the beans to the bar. Um, so today I'll be showing you the whole process that I do to make this chocolate. And we'll be starting first with some unroasted beans, like here. They have an interesting smell to start with. Um, we'll be roasting them to bring us to some roasted beans. Slight difference, especially the smell. So the roasting develops the flavor. We'll go through that also. And the next process is called winnowing, where you crack the beans and you're left with husk and nib. And here are some cocoa nibs that uh, we'll see in the next step after the roasting. So we'll be winnowing the, ch the, the cocoa beans. And after we have the nibs, we'll be processing it and we'll set it into the final machine, the Mélangeur. And after that, after hours and hours that the chocolate is in there, we will finally have the finished product, this beautiful delicacy, chocolate. So I hope you'll enjoy our time together. I use beans from different origins, mostly from Central and South America. Today I'll be using Venezuelan pet enamel beans. First we weigh, then we sort, and ready for the roaster. They'll be roasting for about 17 minutes. So now we have our beans that are roasted. Just took them out of the roaster. They, well, they've been sitting a bit. And we are going to crack them. So here we have, it's called the Krankenstein. Uh, put them in the top here. And then we just crank. So here. And they'll be falling into the bowl. All cracked up. The nibs and the husk. Here is the mix of nib and husk. I'm now using the winnower that sucks away the husk and lets the nibs fall into the bowl. next part will get very noisy. Uh, I'm using a juicer where I'm putting the uh, cocoa nibs into the juicer and pressing them through so it becomes uh, kind of a liquid. Here we have, you can see just a little bit, I've started already, and um, it'll come out a bit on this end too and we'll just keep putting it through until it's mostly refined. I'll be adding the seeds from a vanilla bean and cocoa butter. Also some sugar and then we'll mix it all up. The Melangeur has two granite wheels that roll on a granite slab to refine the chocolate particles. So I've just put the chocolate into the Melangeur, you can see here. And so that will be mixing for a long time, for hours and hours. You can do it, they say you can do it up to three days. A lot of bigger chocolate companies do it for three days. 